What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. What makes Strike Base Jiu Jitsu so effective? Strike Base Jiu Jitsu has a targeted and systemized approach to punch defense where we follow basic and specific rules that keep us from getting hit. With that said, our secondary plan is to isolate and attack from the bottom while keeping ourselves safe from strikes. Here is just one of the many examples of a targeted attack with punch defense as a primary focus and submission being the secondary focus. In this video, we will be working from the triangle setup position, which is one of the many positions of absolute advantage. I hope you enjoyed this content, and as always, thank you for watching. You guys have a good time with that? You guys, you guys uh, like how much you're working on the bottom? Or was it working a lot? What is the battle? What battle is the most difficult? When they circle, what do you have to do? If you allow them to circle, 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 my feet come undone. It's like a, like a little twisty tap. Even if I do this, even if I cross them this way, if he starts to circle, it starts putting a lot of torque on my knee. So, why was he able to circle? What's the first thing he did to allow the circle? Get off his knees. Bam, what was it? This hand, being here is bad. This hand being here is good. Ready? All you gotta do is get this hand, go. Look how easy that was. Go, come back, do it again, go. Go, go, go. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give you two different ways to do this. Right now I'm countering them. I'm, Right now, I am just simply just countering what he's doing. Is he circling? Oh, no. I've created an obstacle before he, so I made this ever so simple thing to do challenging. I don't have to carry his weight, I don't have to put the foot, I don't have to do anything. Do do just because I've stopped it before it started. One more time, ready, say, go. I'm just gonna stop. Even if he gets it there, get it there? Extension, pass it. That's one way to do it. Working on a, on a countering kind of <coughs> mindset. Does that make sense? He's trying to get it there, I'm just simply stopping it from happening. This is another mindset. Same thing here, ready, set, go. Go, 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 go. Let's do that one more time. Ready, set, go. Got it. What was I doing? How was I doing? When I said ready, set, go, I didn't wait for him to start to go. I didn't wait for him to do that. Ready, set, go. Boom, I covered the arm. He starts to work it. How is he going to do it? His elbow has to come up. He wants to pull his arm out that way. Come back, let's go. Do that again. He has to come bring his elbow up and then pull it out. Come back. So as he pulls his elbow up, poof, I catch it. Do it again. So I'm covering the elbow. The second it starts to slip out, I catch it. Put it in. So now, from this angle here, it allows me to shrimp my hip a little bit higher. Bite, close. I don't have to pass the arm because my hip is in his armpit. By squeezing my knees, it's done. One more time. Ready, set, go, I cover. I'll even do this. So, watch my hands. This one's here, this one's here. Slowly transfer the arm to the other side. Boom, roadblock. So 
He might go over my head, you know, roadblock. So I'm putting the roadblocks in place until my elbow can cover the arm. Once I cover the arm, I can hug my knee or wrap around my leg. Pull your arm out. Stuck. Okay? The closer to the hip that you're able to do that, there's a pinch here. It makes it even tighter. Once we're here, he's going to start to raise his elbow to pull the arm out right there. Look how I'm waiting for the hand. Now the, the game is to keep his arm glued to your chest. Foot goes on the hip, and I'm going to slide my hip under his armpit. Bite the neck, grab the shin, lock it. Because of the positioning, I can squeeze and it's a wrap. If by some miracle of God, he's able to pass this arm to the other side, to here, I want to pass it across the hip, both hands go back to the hand, and you must readjust the lock. Because the lock was set for the arm to be on the other side. So if you pass the arm, you must reset the lock. Squeeze, finish. So when you shoot the triangle, boom, I get to the arm. I don't necessarily try to pass it because that's when they'll reach for the collar. That's when they'll start to circle. It is, it is more traditional to defend the arm being passed across. People don't defend when you attack the other arm this way. So I'm not trying to pass the arm. I'm finishing with the arm on this side. Ready, set, go. Boom, I get to it, I cover it. From here, I'm just holding it. When he tries to pull the arm out, look at what's happening. I just keep turning him. My two fingers go in the, in the hole here where his elbow bends, and I'm gluing it to my chest. So go, get your arm away. It's very tight. Foot goes on the hip. Walk, bite, grab, lock. Now, I can keep this and scoop the arm and go into a reverse arm lock. I can keep this here and go to a super key work. Or I can just squeeze. It all work. Question. Let's drill this and then do it live. Go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.